Hello Virgos, thank you for tuning in. It's Natalie, I'm here. And we're doing an energy check to see what the first two weeks of April look like for you. And I'm very sorry that I'm doing this video late on a Thursday on the new moon in Aries. I'm doing a film this year and it's I'm working and it's like a big thing. So I will be better about the videos in the future. I know you guys like punctuality and reliability. You're a fellow Earth sign. I totally get it. So let's move forward beyond that moment and just concentrate on the message that I'm supposed to give you, Virgos, for the first two weeks of April. Okay. I'm going to tell you what the cards are telling me you need to hear, Virgos. So here we go. Okay, bottom of the deck card, not so great looking, but let's just see what this has to do with. Let's just dig in and do some detective work here for you, Virgos. Okay, so I've got one, three major arcana, one knight, one ace, three, four swords. So words are going to figure very prominently into April and maybe even to the end of April, Virgo. I see something rushing forward. I see either you or someone in your life really what rushing forward with something and maybe a mental idea, maybe um, something that you were maybe rushing coming from a place of satisfaction. There was something that you felt very comfortable about whether this is business, your personal life, your family life, something that you thought was a sure thing, so you ran forward and tried to run with it. And taking it a step further, it must have been a very big deal for you, Virgo, because you're trying to use everything in your power to do it, to accomplish it. Whatever this goal is of yours, you're trying to make magic for yourself. You're trying to make magic for yourself. And I'm seeing that because I have this sword card, because I have this Three of Sword card, I'm feeling that there's something that you're running into that's an obstacle because the future, the immediate future card is anxiety and restless nights. And this is just you not being able to get a good night's rest for some reason. So read this in the context of your life and how it fits because the foundation of this reading, how you got into the situation or what brought you here is meditation and you taking a lot of time out for yourself to really think about this so you're not really rushing without having thought about it you did think about it Virgo you contemplated you prayed about it you meditated on it you sat with it and you decided from this place what you're gonna do about something in your life and you went forward and you're trying to do it you're trying to make it happen and right here this weekend I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this weekend Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday you're gonna have a little bit of a rough time getting good quality sleep because it's it's the Virgo anxiety you're gonna be thinking of about it at night okay this is the card of where you are currently the part that you're currently playing the role you're currently playing and Virgo it feels like like something is causing you to feel like you really don't have control of the situation like you're trying to do everything you can and use all of your magic and you're trying your very very best on the outside but on the inside you feel like there's something that's not really going your way and I can't see what it is yet I can't see what it is yet but you're this is how you're feeling on the inside and where you really are even though you're trying that there's something trying to to go and happen okay this is how other people see you, Virgo, right here. People see you as the Nine of Pentacles, the woman that is very wealthy and healthy and has, like, everything. You know, she's so wealthy, she can afford to, to take up falconry. She's got this beautiful falcon, the wall of vegetation and grapes and all these coins, beautiful robes, beautiful adornments, and a bright yellow sky with a castle in the background. 
snail up front. I mean, who's not doing well that which does not have their own snail? <laughs> right? So that's okay. That's that's a nice way for people to see you. So I think maybe people see you as having and using your magic to try to manifest something. So this might just be that Virgo and anxiety that things are better than they than than they seem to you. But you're just having your own anxiety issues, which is fine. Okay. This is how this is your hope or fear. Virgo and your hope and your fear, I'm going to say, is absolute upheaval and change where things never go back to how they were before. So there's something good about that and there's something bad about that. You have to let go of the past in order to make way for the future. You have to let go of something in order for something better to take its place. And that in-between period and that absolute change, that, that period of change can be very anxiety inducing and that's what the anxiety is I think because I think you're being anxious about this fear I think you're up all night thinking about a great change and how it's going to affect you how it's going to be what you're going to be where you're going to be how you're going to feel what they're going to other people in your life whether this is at work or at home or in your relationships you know whatever this has to do with your you're kind of doing the Virgo anxiety thing and just trying to think about every single possible thing that might be able to go wrong and how other people might respond and what they're going to do. And just like, la, 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 let that go. This is just a hope or fear. This is just an anxiety. This is another anxiety connecting card that you're anxious about. But that's all that it is. Okay, so your outcome card, I'm reading with your milieu card. So this, I would say, is for the rest of April at least at the end of the two weeks, the middle of April. So your outcome card, Virgo, is you're going to take more time by yourself to think about this. And this is reflecting what you already did before the foundation of the situation. You meditated, you prayed, you spent time alone, and you're going to do that again to get your answers. And that's a really, I love this card, the Hermit card. This is like the Nietzsche card where you go up to the mountain to be alone and communicate with the divine and to meditate and you get the answers and then you come back down to the village and share your wisdom with the rest of the villagers. That is what leads you to this Ace of Pentacles. So by the full moon, in two weeks, Virgo, by the full moon, by the middle of April, because I'm only looking out for two weeks, so... That that's you using your intelligence, your ace of pentacles. That's the seed of a new venture, of a new idea, of a new relationship, of a new way of being within yourself, or just plain intellect confidence, like just intellectual confidence. So you really do need to have enough alone time to get there, though. You need the alone time to eradicate the anxiety. You need the alone time to eradicate the feeling of not being able to change your life and your future because you can and it all starts within it all starts within you it looks like you have some swords to put away some heartbreak to get over and to like really work through and that's okay i mean no one's everyone we're all on our own timeline so don't stress about that you know um you have some great great new beginnings to look forward to even if this isn't something you can visibly see on the surface, it's the seed that's being planted. And you're working through that by working through your anxiety through your alone time, Virgo. So take as much alone time. If you rush forward in something and use all of your outside powers to manifest it and it doesn't land right, don't freak out. Don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. I mean, it shows that you are and that you will, but I'm just going to say some of you will listen and will really try to not do that. And that's the trying that counts. It really is. So even if you try not to be anxious and you find yourself being anxious, don't be hard on yourself because the effort really counts karmically. Okay? So just be be better on your on yourself, on your own expectations, because you're working on, on a lot of really serious things. You're working hard on taking these swords out Virgo, and I see that you need your alone time. You really need the alone time to get through it. So make sure you're getting your own alone time and make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Okay, Virgo, I hope this helped. We'll do another energy check in the middle of April to see how this all plays out. And thank you for watching. Take care, Virgo. Bye.